what's new at Sky TV? Erica Jones here. It's been so long, my beautiful freaky family out there in online video land and TV if you're watching on cable television. Thank you for still supporting us. So, quick little update. We just filmed, which I'm super pumped about, um, our first pilot episode of our regional news collaborative called Beyond Boston, which is a collaboration with Bunch of lo local neighborhood media centers from Malden, Brookline, Cambridge, Watertown, Boston. It's just awesome. And we are all sharing new segments that cross community lines. And it's hosted by the folks at Boston Institute for Nonprofit Journalism, Binge. So we will have that episode for you very soon. Stay tuned. We're really excited about this collaboration. And we will be closed uh, next Friday because the fine folks here at SCAT TV will be taking a professional development vacation locally to Boston where the National Alliance for Community Media is coming here. So the first time in 10 years, we're super pumped because SCAT TV is going to be all up in it. We're going to be representing, the, you know, we're going to have board members there, the staff. We're going to be learning and bringing back all the good skills for you all to benefit from. So with that said, it's good to see you. Live long and prosper. We almost forgot to mention, folks, that we won a national award for Duck Village Stage of Brennan. Make sure to check it out. <laughs> Oh, sorry, people. I've got the nano turntable. I've got to get a record queued up before I talk to you. You know, these nano turntables, they're on the roof. We actually have them on the roof, and we just play them through the board here. I got the next song up. Okay, hey. Hey there, SCAT TV. Uh, my name is Joe Villon, and I've been a member of SCAT TV over about 14 months now. But before that, I had sponsors. I had uh, Karen DiBiase was my sponsor because I live in another city before the rules changed. But here I am. Um, doing my radio show on bostonfreeradio.com. Uh, the radio show, Boston Free Radio, has the Joe Vig Pop Explosion, which is on Wednesdays, 1 to 3. And it's one of two shows I'm airing. We have another one called Non-Visual Radio, which is my TV show that airs on SCAT, only it is going to be the audio version, which is going to go on during the day here at BFR. So you know, we're multitasking to get different content on the air for people. Visual Radio started in 1995, but prior to that, I had a show called TVI out of Somerville in 1979. It ran for a year. And we had uh, bands like Pastiche and Mission of Burma, and the maps were on our show. So we interviewed local bands back in 1979. Visual Radio started in 95 with Marty Ballin of the Jefferson Airplane and Bobby Hebb, who wrote the song Sunny. And then all of a sudden, we've done about a thousand shows now, I guess. What I like most about BFR and, and Somerville Community Access TV is that I go to many Access TV stations. God love them, they're great. But Somerville Cable is just so hassle-free. People are just so nice. You have parties here, we have get-togethers, and it's just real camaraderie, it's a community. It's really is a radio and TV family, and you don't find that at all the stations where people kind of come in, do their thing, everyone's nice, but then they leave. Here, it's more um, just bringing people in, and it's just so, so conducive to being creative, because that's what you need. You don't need hassles when you're creating. And this is a hassle-free environment. This TV station, this radio station, makes Somerville a more vibrant community. It's so important. Public access across the country is so important. And we're lucky to have this very special TV station right here. Hey, everyone. It's Isabella, your programming coordinator here at SCAT TV. Long time no see. Happy to see your smiling faces again. I just want to give you some updates on the channel that's going to be happening this month. So the first thing I want to talk about is the Middlesex Senate debates and the Middlesex representative debates. We collaborated with CCTV and we are going to be showing it multiple times throughout the first two weeks and then we're going to drop it down to three times a week after that and it's going to be going on throughout August and it's going to end in September. So the times that we have for that for the first couple of weeks is going to be Tuesdays from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m., Wednesdays from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., Thursdays from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m., Friday from 9, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., Saturday from 12 to 2, and Sundays from 12 to 2. 
And again, after a couple of weeks, I'll drop that down to only three times a week. If you have any questions, you can go to scattvsummerville.org and go under the watch tab and scroll down and there's a Google calendar of our entire schedule and the debates are on there. So if you have any questions and you need to watch it again, you can go there and find out what time they're playing. Next, I wanna talk about Fallon's Daily Toast. Fallon, as you know, is the member of the month this month and also a longtime member and part of the board of directors. And she has decided to start doing a live show Friday nights at 7.30. So Fallon's Daily Toast is gonna to be every Friday, 7.30. Check it out, she talks about art, music, the community. It's a really great live show, one of our newest live programs to go out and it's part of our DIY Fridays. And if you wanna work on stuff on Friday nights, come in because we're open later. The last thing I want to talk about is Villain News Network. As some of you might know, Heather, our new youth media coordinator, did a youth media camp over the summer, and these awesome, awesome kids took on the journalistic job and interviewed the town and put on a news show together. And it's really great, and you should totally check it out. The time is going to be Saturday at 8 a.m., and I'll repeat it throughout the week. It's really awesome to see kids taking an interest in the city and going out and asking the important questions and talking about displacement that's happening in the city. You should definitely check it out. It's really cool to see how the younger generation looks at the world now and wants to figure out what's going on for their futures. So that's it for me. That's three awesome things that you should be checking out this month. And I will see you later. My name is David Bradburn. I'm an intern at SCAT TV and I go to Emerson College. Currently at SCAT TV, I just finished editing and uploading uh, a series called Grown Up Storytime for Bootown Boston. Grown Up Storytime is uh, it's a really cool event they have every few weeks or so. They get a bunch of uh, people in the area to write stories and they get other people to read the stories. And the goal is to eventually like, pay the writers that keep participating. What I love most about my internship is the people. Uh, the people here are really great and I feel very welcomed here.